Right, Todd Conser here with Grace Church. Um, I've received a lot of questions on how we did our light boxes here on stage. And since I'm striking the stage now, I thought this would be a good opportunity to at least go over how the light boxes are designed so you have an idea on how you could possibly create your own. So here we go. We're going to start with the smallest light box I've made. And it's basically a little over six feet tall. And it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty flimsy by all standards, but nobody's really hanging on them when they're on the stage. So what we did first is the fabric. Okay, so the fabric we ordered from um, New York in the fashion district. We just got online until we could find something. And so, and then we had somebody in our church actually, we told her the dimensions that we wanted the boxes. Each individual box would be different sizes. So basically I made a six foot, a 10 foot, and a 12 foot tall box. And then we actually made two smaller ones that we don't have on stage currently that are actually only two foot tall. So, which was pretty incredible. But she sewed all of the boxes together, made all the seams um, so they would fit over. But our design was pretty simple. So in the bottom, it's open. So basically what you have here is, you have the lights that go underneath. I don't know if you can see that or not. We use just two, uh, two LED lights that actually shine up in the middle so we can change the colors. The boxes themselves are, um, enclosed all the way around and even on the top so that way when the light diffuses off of them you can change the different colors but on the bottom it's completely open so let me set it over sorry I'm using my cell phone that's all I have with me um, so here's what you have is you have an empty box container uh, the actually what we did on the corners to hold everything down is we installed uh, velcro so the velcro holds everything together and then you can see how the PVC pipe is actually the frame. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool once you pull everything apart. We can design it this way so when we were done using them, we could actually store everything in individual pieces. So it comes apart that way. Now, here's the trick, okay? It took us a while to figure this out on what I was gonna do. None of this is actually glued together. It's basically all pounded in. So let me take off a couple pieces so you can see. just unsnaps generally and you can see how they just kind of snug in place um, and we push them in place as far as the value goes here's the key though is this little nugget right here um, to make your elbows you need a basically it's a, a screw in at the top and then two fittings that just kind of slide in on the corners and then we bought this fitting um, basically right here that allows this to, to slide in, but this part actually unscrews. That was the only design we could actually come up with that we could actually make the 90 degree turns and actually have it so it's functional and can be pulled apart. So, and it works pretty well. As you can see, they're even hard to pull apart in general. Um, let me see if I can get a couple of these off so you can see them. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, here we go. So here's, here's your fitting right here. Um, it comes in at an elbow like this, and there's your screw in part. So you have your two parts that fit in, and then your elbow at the top. So what you do basically is what we did is this, we made a frame. So it starts with your square, and then you just change your links to your top. So here's what you have for your frame, and it all fits together. And then you just change your length of your main poles on the corners to decide how big you're gonna want your light poles to be. So it's actually pretty incredible when you pull everything apart and it turns out really well. And you could actually, if you wanted to, do something goofy, you can actually put somebody inside of it, which would be kind of fun, but we haven't done that yet. So again, here's, here's the finished product. Pull this apart one more time. Let me show you one that's on the ground here. So, you have an idea of what the frame looks like, how it goes together, and then you just cut your links on how tall you're gonna make your boxes. So hopefully that helps. Um, it's a great stage design when you're in a pinch and you wanna change something. And then when it's really fun, you can actually set the, the lights to motion and they'll go with the beats of the drums and stuff like that too. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any other questions, you can always text me and I'd be happy to get back to you and give you some additional answers. But everything you saw here was from Home Depot. The most expensive part was the fabric. Um, 
of course, uh, but it's other than that, it's just PVC pipe and cutting them to the right instance or right heights that you desire. And the dimensions are two foot by two foot. So every box is two foot by two foot. And then your links are as high as you want, six foot, eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, two foot, whatever it's going to be. So have a blessed day. Have fun.